Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Azure Certifications. Now, if you have been following my last two videos, the first video was about uh, the registration part. The second video was the update that when we would be receiving our exam vouchers. And yes, this is the third video. The next update is that we have already received the voucher. And in this whole video, I'm going to walk you through the process through which you can book the exam and take the exam. All right. So again, uh, just a request that for more updates like this, uh, Please subscribe the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so if you go to your inbox, you will find a mail something like this. Claim your Microsoft certification exam from the Microsoft Learn Cloud Skills Challenge. Okay, so this was the mail that was sent to your inbox at 1044 p.m. around 18th of November, which was the date. Okay, so this is what it is. This congratulations, you can now claim the free Microsoft certification exam you earned by successfully completing your Microsoft Learn Cloud Skills Challenge. Okay, so you can go through the official mail. Now, there are a few things uh, that you need to do, and the thing is, if you want to go through the official rules, you can right click over here and you can go through that. It will take some time to open, and these are the full detailed instructions. I think we have already gone through this. Uh, let me check. The Microsoft Learn Skill Cloud Skills Challenge, Terms and Conditions Challenge, Offer Detail, this and this. So, uh, I had registered from two email IDs. One was for AZ400 and the other one was for AZ305, uh, which was for Azure Infrastructure Solution. Okay, so these are the two exams that I registered. Okay, so I'll give an example of this one. Uh, and the, this part is uh, the details how to claim your free exam. So, this is uh, something that you can do and this is for MS. 700 i did not opt for it i opted for this one ms305 all right so all you have to do go back over here and click on claim now now once this is done how to claim a free exam let's go to the eligible exam right click over here and go over here let me go over here perfect so this was the one that i chose let me expand it a bit perfect right click over here 305 now you can choose any of these which whichever you have opted for i have opted for az305 and that's why i am doing for this all right so this is done over here now the thing schedule exam that's perfect so there are multiple countries over here united states united kingdom sweden taiwan Tajikistan, tanzania a lot of them uh if you want to change you can change it uh you can change to it in uh, to india if you are in india if you are in some other country you can change it I'm not changing it because it does not matter this 165 dollar usd is the original price but it will reduce to zero because everything would be covered from this voucher okay so this is schedule exam you can either click on it or just right click on it and open it it can take up to some time and make sure that your pearson view uh, account is already created so it is saying please hold on okay so let me create my account I'll click on Mr. First legal name is Ravish. Middle name is nothing. Ravat over here. After that, select job title. So job title is I'm actually a DevOps, but it's not over here. So let's say infrastructure specialist. If you find it over, it's fine. Otherwise, just go for other. Enter address. You have to uh, enter the address. Uh, you can add any address. I'll say Bangalore for now. I'm not in Bangalore right now, but that's that's fine. Address to address three is totally your choice. Uh, city, let's say I'll enter Bangalore. Bangalore. Country is India. This is perfect. Select state is Karnataka. Postal code you can give anything. I'll just give five six zero one zero two for now country is india area code i don't think it's necessary but i'll just give zero it's zero phone number is whatever you want to do this is your email id and i would like to now this is something that you need to uh, give it i'm not giving it right now i'll give it and then i'll just uh, click on these if you want to hear from microsoft products about services this is perfectly all right i do not want to hear i'll just click over there and then I'll just click, click on save and continue. I'll be stopping the video over here because I want to enter my phone number over here and I don't want to make it public. That's why I won't be letting you folks know about it. All right. So this is all you have to do. 
but if you already have an account created over here that does not matter you can just click on save and continue okay so once this is done just click on save and continue and it will ask you to does your name match your identification which means that whatever name you have given over here should be matching your government id or something for example your passport or your social security number or your aadhar card if you stay in india or any other thing that can prove that your name is like this i mean this is my name and you can enter your name and once saved your name can only be changed by contacting microsoft certification support so this is the first step that you have to take very carefully just click on accept it will say please wait we will be saving your profile information and once this is done just click on exam discounts and it can take up to some time it will be loading the profile and it will uh, make a call to your email id and then just check whether you are eligible for exam or not and you can see that i am eligible for az305 designing microsoft azure infrastructure solution okay so this is something that you can do now what you can do is just click on claim and you have claimed it that's how it, it needs to be done and uh, enter an email to check for discount you do not have to check for any discount because this is already done you have already claimed it and it is expiring on 16th of february which is next year 2023 so you have easily three to four months for preparation you can easily prepare for the exam and then you can take the exam okay perfect now let's just schedule the exam so it will take you to the pearson view website let it happen it can take up to a few seconds a few minutes so there are multiple options over here at a test center and then at a test center what you can do is you have to take the photo id you what to expect familiarize yourself with the testing experience so you can feel um, this is okay if you want to see the short video you can click over it and see the short video personal items review the items that you can take a list so if you want to see right click over here and if for the comfort date list you can take a look so these are the helpful resources that you can take a look these are the videos you can click over it and take a look what you want to bring if you're taking it for the first time this is good for you if you're not taking it for the for the first time and you have taken the exam already many a times then i think it's not for you this is the pearson view comfort aid list whatever you can have whatever you cannot have if you have seen some kind of medical issue or medical devices you can have this so you can go through this whole document and take a take care uh, in order to avoid the last minute hassle let's go back uh, to the pearson view so the uh, at a test center is when you go to a test center there are pearson view multiple centers that uh, allow you to book the exam and you can go there physically and take the exam this is online at my home or office this is uh, this is some other process through which you can be at home and take the exam and if you have a private access code that is also fine we'll be concentrating on a test center because i'll be taking a test center and this is online my home so you have to have a computer you have to have a testing space your photo id what to expect you can go through all of these it's totally your choice i'll go through this okay click on next and that will be the processing request now it will ask you to select the exam language so i'll be taking english there are multiple available over here if you're watching this video from some other country you can prefer the one language which you want for the exam click on next and then it will provide some additional information have you read through read and do you agree with the microsoft code of conduct yes i do do you agree to the microsoft certification exam candidate non-disclosure you can go through all of this i agree click on next and these are the terms and conditions you can go through them and you have exam process also requires an security protocol so you if you go over there they'll take a signature from your end and a photograph which will appear on the exam result okay no matter if you fail or pass it will be appearing there click on agree now this is a place where you have to enter the pin code in the area where you want to take the exam so i'll be testing the area first so there are multiple things available Centrix, global private limited vinom tech factory erp idss show more you can select all uh, any one of them i am not interested in any one of them yeah i am not interested in any one of them let me select something else you can change it over here and take the exam St. Trace Parkers. Uh, this one should be fine for me. Marathalli. I'll select this. Click on next. That's all. And this is the appointment time. So I won't be taking it in November. I'll be taking it somewhere close to the month in 
January or December uh, not December January and you can take it till February you can even reschedule it there are something uh, I think you can reschedule it like within a span of like three to four days so do not worry about that let me check the other dates so it's February so what I'll do is I'll select for the date for now like 12th of Feb February should be fine for me perfect now it will show you how you want your time to be displayed I want my time to be something like this so explore more times and from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. nopes I'll be taking this one so I think 1 p.m. is perfectly all right for me no I'll take the 2 p.m. one I'll be selecting that and 2 p.m. 4 to 4 p.m. this is two hours exam Asia Kolkata Indian Standard Time I'll book this appointment let me book perfect this is card review and confirm and the price is 4800 rupees because I'm taking it from India but it will become zero because there is a voucher that I got that has reduced it to zero perfect let's proceed to check out check this two hours exam 305 which is I'm taking the exam and February 12 2023 proceed to check out and enter payment and billing this is zero because I've got Microsoft Ignite Cloud Skills Challenge November 22 2022 next submit the order it can take up to a few seconds depending on your internet speed and this is done perfect so your exam has been booked so you can just scroll through and you can if you want to print this uh, you can print this but an email confirmation would be sent to Ravish Rawat at live.in which is one of my ID so what I'll do is I'll just go through my email ID and check so you can see that Microsoft certification exam scheduled please do not respond to this email and I have got the exam details so this is the exam that I'm going to take this is the place where I have to go and take the exam okay all right so uh, folks I hope you folks have understood whatever uh, this process was and if there is an issue if there is any question and if there is any problem regarding this exam how to book where to book and what to do feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one